So you want to make a movie car. Well, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on just how to do that. Our platform, a cheap generic RC car that goes relatively fast, about 35 miles an hour. You can see the body shakes a lot. And if we put it on the hood, it would be up too high, causing a high center of gravity. So we're going to shoot for the inside right here probably is far toward the center and as low as we can possibly get it. This looks like a good area right here. Now you're going to see these body posts here are going to be in the way of our camera. So those are going to have to go. Also the front bumper is going to be in the way of the field of view of the camera. The body clip will go right there, but you can see parts are in the way. So those will obviously need to be taken out. These ribs won't give us a good seat either. Here's the clip and the mounting pad. It's adhesive and sticky, so it should make it adhere very well to the car. And we should have a good stable car because it's going to be on that low center of gravity. Now it's time to go do some grinding and get this thing ready. And here we have it. Looks like a good mount to me. It's down flat, those parts are out of the way, and it's been stuck down very, very well. We put a lot of pressure on it to get it there. Now it's just time to put the camera on, and we want to hear that click. That means it's on. Nice tightening down, and one more visual inspection. Oh, hello. And I think we're ready to give this thing a run. All right, we've got it assembled. Now, let's go try it out. And away we go. Seems to be handling pretty well on the grass. Pop down the curb, yeah, it's holding together really well. Give it a little 20 mile an hour run and a nice turn. Another jump off the curb. Amazing how well it's holding. I really like this effect with the bricks. It's pretty neat. put this thing through some more grass. It's funny seeing the, the shocks shake like that. Well, the camera's actually shaking just as much as the shocks are. But the GoPro 8 does have image stabilization. So it's compensating for that just to stabilize the rest of the video for us. Now for about a 30 mile an hour shot. Followed up with some braking and a nice turn. Yeah, this camera's holding on very well. Let's go check it out. Okay, it looks really good. Uh, the one thing that I don't like, or may, I may not always want to see, are those shocks in the way. So we're going to take the camera off. And put a taller mount on it. Here's the mount that I have. I think it's going to work really well. It does have some uh, pivoting points. We'll have to tighten those down extra tight so it doesn't move around a whole bunch. Let's just get right to it and put it in place. Still goes in nicely. Gonna get it set up the way that we want it in those right angles. Yeah, it actually looks really cool. I like it up higher, you know, aesthetically looking. It looks more like a camera car. Another thing with this mount is you can swivel it. So if I wanted to do, say, a TikTok video that does the portrait instead of landscape, then I could do that. But today we're going landscape. 
So let's tighten her down and give it another go. It looks cool. It's, it looks good, but let's see how it runs. Let's start with a 25 mile an hour run. Man, that did feel good. I think we're gonna have to kick it up a notch. Let's go for full speed, about 35 miles an hour, maybe 40. Good try. Okay, so we had a little bit of a fail there, but I did find another mount. And as you can see, it puts it a little bit further forward and definitely lower than that last one. So I think we're going to be clear of those shocks and it's going to have a nice low center of gravity. It looks really good. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun and I think we're going to get a lot of good shots from this thing. So time will tell. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and we'll make more. <laughs>